right? I'm going to get, I'm over here in uh, slide number seven. And I'm getting my cards ready. I'm getting the dog uh, picture out of there. And I'm making all the words into one big pile. Okay, I'm putting the dog at the top. I'm in the, sorry, the duck at the top. And I've got the fish at the top. All the other cards are getting put into the pile. Okay, you give the same directions. Here's the word duck. What sound do you hear at the beginning of that word? Duh. Every time you find a word, put the card into that pile. Next, fish. What sound do you hear at the beginning of that word? F. Every time you find a word that makes the same beginning sound as fish, Put it in that pile. All right, I'll show you how to do a couple of these and then you're on your own. Okay, here's the picture of the fan. I'm putting it under fish because fan has the same sound at the beginning as fish. Here's the card for dog. I'm putting it under duck. Duck has the same sound as the beginning sound in dog. Here are the rest of the cards. Say them out loud. So the child will sort five foot. Make sure that they say it out loud. Dice. Doll. Desk. Fire. And fork. Fork. Door. All right, all the cards have been sorted correctly. Uh, it doesn't hurt to be able to re-say all these cards again. Okay, now let's go and look at the directions for a review. First, you need to go through the, uh, the picture sort group cards and point to each card and have the child say what it stands for. You've got to have agreement on all the cards. You can't let a child call uh, the dog uh, card. You can't let it uh, be said as puppy. If they continue to do that, remove that card. Next, announce the, the directions for your sort. You've got to be clear. Um, it's really hard to at first, I know, but um, any type of confusion you see in the sorting is going to be based on um, that lack of clarity in your directions. So say this is the picture of dog, and I want you to put any other card that is the same beginning sound in dog under it. The same for fish, by putting cards with the same beginning sound under it. Model how to do the sort using several cards. Then say, here are the cards. Say them out loud and put them in the right place. So your job is just to resist uh, the temptation to intervene. You should just be watching the sorting. Then uh, chant and read back the cards with the child by pointing at each one. It should definitely sound like chanting. Then you're going to ask four questions. Number one, is there anything you want to change? Number two, why did you put this card here? Number nine, uh, the question number three, can I move this card to this pile? Why or why not? And lastly, question number four. What sound is this letter making? And you got to point to the beginning sound in order to do that. For your next sort, if there was an error, do the sort again immediately at that point. Put the error card up there at the top and remove one of the other header cards. Then group the words together. Uh, model how to do the sort. Give the cards to the child and tell them to say the word out loud and put it in the right pile. When you do this, when you use picture sorts this way, Children will clarify their difficulties that they're having understanding uh, the sound patterns of English.